Now then, some of my viewers might remember these batteries. They're supposed to be 5 kilowatt each, 51.2 volts, so that's a 16S, or 16 cells in series. Anyway, there were two of these, these two on the end, that had got Duff BMSs. So I was able to rescue those other five, but these two were definitely Duff. And so, um, I put some JBD 200 8 stroke 21 BMS's in there. Okay, and I got them from Fogstar. And I use Overkill Solar to talk to them. So let's have a look. Here's the old phone. This is a bit of a learning curve for me. Overkill Solar. Okay, okay, right, get that out of the way. Right, let's go for number one. I've labelled each of these, you see. So there's number one. Yeah, and it's connecting. Okay, instead of the 100 amp hours that it, that it says on the, on the case, this... Uh, this one says it's 82 amp hours. I don't know how they work that one out. Yeah, but obviously they do. There we go. And the variation between cells seems to be quite a lot at the moment. Yeah. That's 0 0.09 volts difference. I have seen it as 0 0.004, so 4 millivolts. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But if you notice here, we've got charging on and discharging. Well, I had a problem with this. Yeah, and it would charge but not discharge. This wouldn't illuminate and and you couldn't do anything. So I went to, I actually spoke to somebody or emailed Fogstar and I got back, I got a technical person getting back to me um, because I'd done some screenshots from this phone and sent them to them they told me what the problem was. So we go to settings okay and it's just reading the settings now, one interesting thing here, here is, where are we? It says, cell full, 3.500, 3 3.5 volts. I could maybe raise that up a little bit to 3.55 quite easily. Maybe that's set on the very conservative. But anyway... We move down here and we've got balancer enabled. That's balance only when charging. So no, we want balance enabled all the time. Switch circuit. If you want it to discharge, you've got to have that switch circuit switched off. Okay. Yeah, and I've got delta to 10 millivolts. But it's not happening at the moment, as you've seen before. It's it's uh, 89 millivolts. That's the difference between the highest cell and the lowest cell. Okay, so going to here, to device. It comes up with both devices, or it would do in a moment. But we want to, there's number one, there's number two. A bit tricky this because the camera is slightly in the way. There you go. So that one, you can see there, the variation is seven millivolts. So I'm not sure what's going on with the other one. It has to probably settle down a bit. But both of them engaged, charge and discharge. Okay. Yeah. And 54.7 volts. 
so it's the next morning and this is number one there we go and look overnight it sorted itself out two millivolts difference so there you go if you get a uh, let me find the screwdriver if you get a difference what's going on there if you get a difference it's the focus is you'll find that this bar these bars here move if there's one cell that's low that bar will be further over there so that's a nice useful indicator and the same with this you know this bar moves over we've got 53 because it's overnight and hopefully it will be charging up and well it is at just shy well one amp yeah yeah so that bar will move over but just an interesting thing this is an observation um, I did have a problem with this particular BMS and I can't remember where it was I think it was something like 13 or 12 13 and 14 didn't show at all they weren't illuminated and the whole thing wasn't working and um, that was me just messing around and what I did was I disconnected the negative from the JBD BMS took the negative straight out and then took the balancing wires out unplugged them left it for a minute plugged the balancing wires back in and then put the negative back in and it's almost like a reset yeah so so there you go that's just a little extra and I'd like to hear from people who've got more experience about these sorts of things that would be very interesting to build up a level of knowledge about these things so hopefully um, some of this has been useful comments discussion always interesting to hear what you have to say but uh, I mean this is great these JBDs cost because you can use overkill solar to talk to it whereas these ones here the Volticoms you can't talk to them directly it has to talk to a, a router and then the router has to talk to a website and then you have to talk to the forget it it's too much nonsense yeah you want remote and quick as much as possible yeah and you don't want to involve all sorts of data harvesting and data mining and what have you yeah so right hopefully that's helped somebody give us a comment Catch up with you soon. Cheers.